Hi, it's Carol from ReadingGroupGuides.com. We've got a really exciting lineup for you this November, and I want to take some time and share some of these books with you, give a little background, and what's really exciting is we've got three contests for you this month, two of which are for books that are coming out in early 2020 that I'm crazy about, and I'm be, will be picking as Book Reporter Bets on selections. So I'm excited about them, and I want you to just be as excited about them as well. First up, we have American Dirt by Janine Cummins. Book Expo, this is one of the most talked about books. It's coming out on January 21st, and uh, we are have a contest running right now where 10 groups can win advanced reading copies. Um, you can win 10 copies for your group. You need to be able to uh, read and get us feedback about it by Friday, February 28th. So if you're entering, please make sure you can meet with your group and discuss it before then. You have until Monday, November 18th at noon to enter to win. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the book. There's a woman that's living in Acapulco. And remember, we always remember Acapulco has been a great beach scene, you know, really idyllic place to be. Well, now it's a big home of the drug cartels. And this woman is living there with her husband, who's a big journalist, and her son. Her husband is writing about the cartels. And he's writing under a pseudonym because he doesn't want to get found because if you do, it's not going to be a pleasant thing. And in fact, he's going to do a big profile of the chief of one of the cartels, the jefe. I believe that's how it's pronounced. As he's writing this piece, he's outed and people know who he is. And as a result, they come after his family. All of a sudden, something terrible happens to their family and she is on the run with their son. It is a story of crossing to America, crossing to American dirt, and what it is like to, to have that adventure, what it is like to really be in this terrible position where you're on the run, on the fly, with people from the cartel chasing you. And the thing is about the cartel leader, he's actually someone she knows. He's someone who's come into her bookstore and talked to her about books. So there are two different personalities here that she's dealing with. The one who wants to absolutely destroy her family and the one who she's spoken with through the years. Very, very um, in-depth story. I will not share, but there's this moment where you understand the words American dirt. And there's a scene there with one of the a young women in the story. And it's very, very poignant about exactly what it means to her to be coming to America. So once again, you want to enter to win 10 copies, 10 book clubs are going to win. You have until Monday, November 18th at noon to enter. Next, We've got A Good Neighborhood by Teresa Ann Fowler. So what you will receive is a card like this with a code on it that you will be able to go in and download an audio book, give it a listen, and talk about it with your book group. 50 groups are eligible to enter this contest, and you can win up to 12 copies for your group. On the entry form, you'll tell us how many copies you need. We'll make sure we get these cards out to you that would have the instructions on exactly how to do this. Super simple. And then you can give it a listen. And remember, digital audio, you're not tied to your car or any kind of a device. You could be walking around. Uh, you can be in your holiday shopping and still be listening to the audiobook. So what's this book about and why am I so crazy about it? It's set in Oak Grove, North Carolina, and we've got two families living next door to each other. One's been there a very long time. It's a couple that's raising a biracial child who's off to college next year. They're looking forward to the empty nest ahead for them. Other is a new family that's just moved in and they're upstarts. They've got lots of money, lots of flash, lots of what's going on. And these families are not getting along with each other. They don't see on common ground. They're just not seeing life quite the same way. Between them, there's an oak tree, which you can absolutely see a leaf from here. And it's dividing their property. It's a story about class and racial divide, something that we are hearing a lot of conversation about. And you do know, that the two kids are gonna fall in love and where are the ramifications gonna be for that, for the whole family. I am liking to say that people who liked Ask Again Yes by Mary Beth Keene will be interested in this book, but if you haven't read that, it's just something you wanna be taking a look at on your own as well. So remember, 50 groups are winning up to 12 digital copies. You enter by Monday, December 2nd, which is right after Thanksgiving at 12 noon. So get out and enter both of those contests right away. Our What's Your Book Group reading contest this month is for The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek. Uh, this is a book that has been getting a lot of buzz among our readers. In fact, Melanie, who's one of our readers, actually had 
uh, the author uh, participate via Skype with her book club, and it was a fabulous discussion. So I highly urge, if you're interested in Skyping with an author, this is one to definitely consider. Three groups are going to win up to 12 copies of this book. Now, I think you know how to enter, but in case you don't, what you're going to do is you're going to go out to the site and tell us what your book re is reading this month. Not the name of this book unless you're reading this book this month. Go ahead and tell us what you're reading this month and then you'll be eligible to win. We love to see what groups are reading. You know, every month we post what the most popular books club's uh, titles are. So get out there and share so that we can share it with the other book groups as well. To tell you a little bit about it, it's set in Kentucky. And what it is is um, during the Depression, there were book women. Actually, they were, their faces looked blue. Their skin was blue toned and they would be delivering books all over Appalachia. And this is their story of what was happening with these horsewomen during that time. Um, you enter to win by Tuesday, December 10th at noon. So remember, tell us what your book group's reading and enter to win. Next up, we've got The Age of Light by Whitney Scherer, which I picked as a bets on selection earlier this year. And I had the pleasure of actually interviewing Whitney when I was at the uh, Morristown Festival of Books last month. And I'm really excited to share that she's going to be doing coming down to New York to do a podcast and video interview with me in December. So what do we have in this book? It's the story of Lee Miller, who is a very renowned photographer and before that was well known as a model. And her begins with her life with Man Ray who was the well-renowned uh, photographer. In fact, a friend just told me she went to the uh, MoMA the other day and she went and saw exhibits of both of their works. So if you're in the New York area, it might be nice to do a field trip with your group and go over to MoMA and check out both of their collections. So what we have here is um, a book that talks about this woman who was a beautiful uh, face. She was a model. But she wanted to do photography and she wanted to be uh, someone who was known for more than just being another pretty face. So what happens with her? What does she do? And here the book opens where they're asking her to tell the story of Man Ray and her life with him. And she's going to tell it all, what it was really like all those years. So we've got that. And then she became, went on to become a famous wartime photographer. And there's a very... Um, famous shot that she did uh, in the bathtub in Hitler's bathroom. And it's something that she's absolutely known for and it just showed the guts and where this beautiful woman turned her story into being somebody that was a very powerful photographer as well. So the age of light. Whitney um, loved photography through the years and you can tell because as you're reading through this book you can see her enthusiasm with the subject matter. Sometimes we like to share with you books that are sort of like under the radar, things that you haven't been hearing a lot about, but we want to make sure that you are taking a look at and suggesting to read with your group. Here we've got Pain, and Pain is written by Zeruya Shaley. She's an Israeli author. She's got a great New York Times review a couple of weeks ago, something that people were absolutely buzzing about and chatting about. Ten years after she was seriously injured in a terrorist attack, Pain has come back to torment Iris. And that's not all. Eaton, the love of her youth, also comes back into her life. And though her relationship ended many years ago, she was deeply wounded by his departure. Iris's marriage is stagnant. Her two children have grown and are almost independent. And she herself has become a dedicated, successful school principal. But there have been a lot of years with passion and joy kind of missing from them. So now she's recalling 10 years earlier, before she was hurt in a very bad accident terrorist attack, she had a love of her life eaten, and he has now come back into her life. And what is this going to mean for her? Sort of at a crossroads. And what is she going to determine and where is she going to go? So we're talking about her pain of the accident, and we're also talking about the pain of really where she is in her life right now and what she has to question. Once again, novel that I think would bring for a really great discussion with your book group. And then we've got what are the big book club books this month. Uh, today's show's Read with Jenna title is Nothing to See Here by Kevin Wilson. So you'll be hearing a lot about that from Jenna Bush uh, Hager. So you might want to take a look at it with your book club and be discussing it as well. Lisa Jewell's The Family Upstairs is Barnes & Noble's November book club selection. But knowing the holidays are going to be really super busy for people, they're not going to be discussing this until January 7th at 7 o'clock. 
easy to remember, January 7th at 7 o'clock. So you've got time to read it over the holidays and then gather with them in January to discuss this. Remember, when Barnes & Noble does their book club events, it's at 7 o'clock at all the stores across the country. So no matter where you live, you can jump in either with your book club or just go in and sit and have a conversation with other like-minded readers who have enjoyed this thriller. I've had the pleasure of interviewing Lisa twice, and she is just so much fun. And man, does she write twisty, twisty tales. I'm about halfway through this one right now, and I have no idea where the story is going from here. So look forward to um, hearing your thoughts about this as well. And Reese Witherspoon's Hello Sunshine Book Club book this month is Jojo Moyes, The Giver of Stars. We've got our guide up on the site. So take a look at that as well. And Oprah's got a latest selection. You know, Oprah always loves her book club selections. We love to see what she selects. Here we've got Olive again by Elizabeth Strout. Olive, yes, you do know her name. Remember Olive Kitteridge, the best-selling book from a couple years ago? Well, Olive is back. And let's see what her adventures are and what she's up to now. And also, let's try and figure out why Oprah selected this title. So we've got lots of books, lots to discuss. I know you've got to make Thanksgiving dinner, and I know you've got to get ready for holiday shopping, but take time to read and take time to explore each of these books and talk about them with your book club because we've got such great selections here for you. And remember, we're already getting you ready for 2020. So you want to get out there right now and enter these contests so that you're ahead of the game. Enjoy everyone and have a really happy Thanksgiving.